One day, when I was playing a computer game, I wanted to improve my gaming skill. So I started to search the net for some guidance. But I was faced with interesting advertisement and opened it. From that ad, I became aware of pictures of these bored apes that were sold for $25 million. I got interested and investigated a little further. Then I read an article about a Canadian investor who bought a virtual plot of land for nearly $2.5 million. And the most interesting one, street art is becoming available in virtual world also. Some enthusiastic street artists are making the 3D model of the building within their drawings and putting it into virtual world in line with giving ownership to it. From those news, I thought, is everything all right with this world? But after some research, I realized that everything is okay because all the things I've mentioned above is a part of the new upcoming generation of the internet, Web3. Web3 is a new phase of the internet based on blockchain technology. Before we talk deeply about Web3, we have to look up the brief history of the internet. Initially, by October 1990, a guy named Berners Lee had written the three fundamental technologies of the internet, HTML, URL, and HTTP. The first version of the internet was named Web1. The internet at that time was very different compared to nowadays. No high quality video and photos, website without any visuals and with no makeup and unstable connections. But then Web2 appeared. Web2 refers to a paradigm shift in how the internet is used. Over the past 15 to 20 years, all the bland web pages of Web1 have been completely replaced by Web2's interactivity, social connectivity, and user-generated content. Web2 makes it possible for user-generated content to be viewed by millions of people in a global range. For example, YouTube videos or TikTok shorts that have gathered millions of likes and views over the globe. Apart from that, the key innovations such as mobile devices and mobile internet access in line with social media were the cause of dramatic growth of Web2. Overall, our life is completely surrounded by Web2. Online photo and video exchanging platforms like Facebook or Instagram, chatting applications, WhatsApp, Telegram, YouTube, Snapchat, TikTok, and many, many other applications are all based on Web 2's technologies. When it comes to the next generation of the internet, it was globally accepted that it would be artificial intelligence, AI, and machine learning, ML. But actually, it's going to be the metaverse. Metaverse is a concept of 3D universe. Metaverse could potentially use virtual reality VR and augmented reality AR to immerse users to an alternative world. Technology is still being developed, but there are some platforms that contain metaverse-like elements. For example, video games currently provide the closest metaverse experience. Cryptocurrencies are creating a digital economy with different types of utility tokens, like NFTs, and blockchain technology can provide transparent and reliable governance systems. NFT, cross-border payment, personal identity applications, and cryptocurrencies are all based on blockchain technology. Overall, Metaverse is an alternative 3D life that allows users to engage, meet, play, and socialize together, together in these 3D spaces. The internet, Web2, is very unfair. We spend up to 70% of our lives on the internet, using the web and scrolling the social media. And we own 0% of it, until NFT and cryptocurrencies were invented. For example, do you still think that you have full ownership and copyright of your Instagram or TikTok content? No. Nope. The companies own everything on their platform and have access to delete it or block you. 
but in Web3, all of us, all the users can create content while controlling, owning, and monetizing them through the implementation of cryptocurrencies and blockchain. So, here is the next question. Why is the metaverse so popular? The potential answer is that our life isn't as great as we wanted. And since people are always looking for something better than they have currently, metaverse is now is a perfect choice. Recent day problems and conflicts like a mass discomfort by COVID-19 breakdown might, might create the need for an alternative world. In the era of Web3, our jobs, relations, wealth, and sense of self will all be mediated through our digital contacts rather than our physical ones. Because the metaverse is intelligent connection of people, process, data, and other things. Even now, it's possible to create a perfect model of our body. Just imagine a 3D life without any issues. A virtual 3D Zoom meetings instead of bland video calls from a webcam. Totally protected content without cracking or hacking. Mark Zuckerberg changed the name Facebook to Meta in order to provide its own metaverse within its own platforms. For that, he will hire 10,000 people to develop its metaverse. And the other companies ain't far behind. For example, the dominant of gaming sector Epic Games has announced a billion dollar investment to create its own metaverse. And those kind of, kinds of examples are endless. But the fact is that the industry is extremely investing on the metaverse. On top of that, the metaverse seems to be a natural response to what as we consumers have been asking of the market. Enhancing entertainment experiences, convenient shopping options, streamlined access to our money in creative ways in how we could represent ourselves online. Fashion, music, sport companies are all interested in Web3 and looking to make their coin. For example, a virtual Gucci bag was sold for $4,000 on the gaming platform Roblox. All of these points to the one direction. Metaverse is going to be the next major online destination that allow users to engage, buy, sell, play, socialize together in 3D spaces. It will start as an alternative to social media and eventually come to encompass the World Wide Web as we know it. Today, almost every successful company has its own presence on the internet in the form of businesses and content. So, in the future, almost every company will have its own presence on the metaverse too. For example, Netflix will create a number of digital movie theaters, Amazon will design its own digital malls, and Disney will create digital parks. Nevertheless, Metaverse needs a very powerful PC, high-speed internet connection, faster than 5G network, AR glasses, VR headset, VR gloves, verse-based bands to transport your mind from real to virtual world. But those equipment are too expensive for the public. In exactly the same situation occurred 10 or 15 years ago in terms of phones and computers. But nowadays, almost every one of us have up to several of these technological devices. Let's imagine that those metaverse equipment are foldable and everyone can buy it. However, there would be some new ways in how we could enter to the internet. In Web1, users had to write their login and password. In Web2, we have online accounts like Google, Facebook, or Apple for authorization. But in Web3, all of us will have a digital e-wallet. It's like an ID card or passport, but online. Once the metaverse, just create a free e-wallet and connect it to your favorite virtual world. 
Currently, there are some examples of the metaverse, like a 3D virtual environment that allow users to control avatars for socializing, learning, and business. There is also an NFT marketplace, so it's possible to buy a digital ownership. Or play to earn games that provide users in developing countries an opportunity to earn consistent income. Moreover, science recently have developed a technology that uses micro vibrations in VR helmets to allow users to get realistic sensation of a kiss. So it would be possible to drink alcohol or smoke a cigarette in a virtual world with real sense and without harming yourself. We can already experience metaverse-like projects and, and are going to see more of those kinds of developments. And I believe that metaverse is not just a virtual place, but rather it's a moment in time in a virtual world. That means metaverse is a moment in time in which all of our essential and important aspects of our lives become digital. All the creations have three main stages. First, it's impossible. Second, it's not perfect. And third, it's normal. The metaverse is now in the second stage. Thank you.